What's up, guys? It's Gary with Fresh from the Farm Fungi. Um, I'm here in Denver, and it's Thursday, and I just finished doing a bunch of inoculations. So I've been getting a lot of questions about the bag tech um, that I do, especially for my piapino mushrooms or chestnut mushrooms. I'm going to be doing a grow kit sometime at the end of fall. Uh, I've been kind of experimenting with different substrates and different sizes to be able to ship them out all all over on our Etsy and one of the main issues that people often have with the bag tech is that the substrate will stick to the sides of the mushrooms as they develop so I'll go through my process here and I'll kind of go through how I harvest them and what they look like so for those of you who don't know this is the bag tech method that I'm referring to. So you, you can grow your mushrooms inside of the bag in vitro, and that way, at least in smaller quantities, you don't need a crazy grow tent or um, a fruiting chamber that regulates the humidity. It's kind of all contained within the bag. So I'll go through my, my method. I'll kind of talk over what I'm doing to explain my process, and then stay tuned later in the fall for our grow packs or grow kits um, but I'll go through the video and show you how I keep the substrate off of the mushrooms all right. all right so I just inoculated the substrate with some green spawn and I'm going to mix that through the bag but before I do that I'm going to heat seal it with the impulse sealer in front of a flow hood and this will prevent any contamination from getting inside of the bag. Okay, so I'm starting to mix up the substrate and the goal is to evenly distribute the grain spawn so that it will speed up the colonization. Now I'm carefully kind of shaking off the substrate at the top to leave minimal debris and then as I press the block into its shape I can also press off some of that loose debris on the inside of the bag so you can see it's nice and clean after I press it into the substrate and it also kind of keeps that block nice and dense so the mycelium can colonize quickly and healthy so if you notice right above the substrate is very clean and now it is going to go on the incubation rack so that the mycelium can grow out Alright, so this is a few days later. Notice the mycelium is starting to peek through the substrate. So this is also a good time where you can tap off some of the loose debris and it will just fall on the edge of the bag. And that way you'll end up with some beautiful clean mushrooms in about two weeks and no substrate. So this is how I harvest my mushrooms. I'll carefully cut the top of the bag off And I'm going to avoid touching the mushrooms. And then once the top is off, I can cut down the seams. And if I cut all the gussets, then it will make four nice little flaps so that I can just fold those down and it will be super easy to harvest. Look at those beautiful mushrooms, nice and clean, ready for harvest. Much love. 